<laughs> What's up, boys, and welcome to, and I know we're about to clickbait sometimes, one of the most fun cards, or at least appears to be one of the most fun cards in FIFA, none other than Conmebol Libertadores flashback. Oscar Cardozo, the Benfica mad lad, the Newell's old boy mad lad, played for Messi's old club, uh, banged in 112 goals and 175 appearances for Benfica, um, played for uh, Trasbonspor, has been everywhere. He's played in the Turkish League, I think he played even in the Greek League, um, but uh, got himself 175 appearances uh, for Benfica, and then also, in 2006 and 2009, he was named the Paraguayan Footballer of the Year, nicknamed Taquara from Takuara, Big Kane in Guarin, Guarani. Guarani, specifically the Paraguayan Guarani, is an indigenous language of South American that belongs to Tupi Guarani. Okay, interesting. Dude, we learn stuff on the channel. You think you come here just for FIFA facts? Dude, you learn stuff. <laughs> Today, boys, it is all about this flashback Cardozo, uh, who you actually unlock by uh, by doing the first Conmebol Libertadores um, uh, SBC. Now, it's an annoying one to do because there's like a million different card types between the Sudamericana uh, and then between the Libertadores, and then some of them are rare and some are non-rare. It's very, very confusing. Uh, but there were 10 SBCs that we had to do. I think it cost about 140, 150,000 coins if you start from scratch. Uh, but today, uh, like like I said, it is all about this Oscar Cardozo. If you guys are Paraguayan supporters, you have already liked the video. But if this episode in some way, shape, or form helps you figure out if you want to complete this SPC, or maybe if it's just a fun epi for you guys, drop a mad lad like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Now, what do you get with an 88 flashback Cardozo? We look at the face stats, you see 86 pace, 94 shooting, 86 passing, 92 dribbling, 97 physical. Um, one thing you might not know is his base card is like a 74, 75 rated card and has 30 pace. It is a 60, it is a plus 60 sprint speed upgrade from his from his regular card, which is kind of mad. Three star, three star, six four, medium low, left footed, and then we break into the card stats, and this is where things get a little bit wild. 80 acceleration with 91 sprint speed. Remember, it was a, it's a 60 total overall sprint speed upgrade. 99 attacking positioning goes up to 99 finishing with the sniper cam style. Already has 99 shot power. Has 99 volleys, 96 long shots. Has 97 free kick accuracy, 98 curve. 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 composure goes up to 99 dribbling with the uh, with the sniper. Has 99 heading accuracy, 99 strength, and 99 aggression. This guy has more 99 overall stats than Team of the Year Ronaldo. Now that we've talked about the positives, we have to we have to point out the elephant in the room, and that's the 60 agility and the 41 balance. I have no idea, and the 69 stamina. I have a better idea of how that 69 stamina is going to affect him in game. I have a less better idea of how the agility and balance is going to affect him in game. Goes up to 70 with the sniper. That's why we went with that chem style because it does get the uh, the agility jacked off the most that it can, and then the uh, balance goes up to 46. So. We had to put together a correspondingly fun squad. We've got that Carlitos Tevez, who is no longer extinct. We've got Salvio. We've got uh, we've got Chelo Diaz. We've gone ahead with a very interesting backline. Dare I say it? One of the more fun backlines that we've had. We've got the 85 storyline Caceres, one of my favorite top five center backs in all of FIFA. Polenta. We've got Muslera. We've got me, and then we've also got Dalbert. Now we have to put some chem styles on the boys. We're gonna get into a couple matches here. And we're gonna see if this absolute mad lad South American. We got a lot of the. We got a lot of the clubs represented here. We got a lot of the nations represented here. We're gonna see if this squad can boss out. He he's got 60 agility, but he's got 99 dribbling and 99 ball control. Bro, what? Okay. Dude, what is this card? See, he doesn't feel. He doesn't feel like he's just, he doesn't feel like he has 60 agility because his dribbling is the the um the crazy dribbling and ball control stats I think mitigate a little bit of that 60 agility. Okay, we're warming up. We're warming up, boys. Matías Rojas, Héctor Villalba, Rojas. ¿Será que se viene el gol ahora? Carlitos Tevez, absolute mad lad himself. Carlitos Tevez wearing the Libertadores kit. And uh, finally get him for, what was it, 700k? I think I spent 750k for him. He's got the wristband. He's showcasing that uh, that trademark agility. Look at him, dude. Absolute pit bull in, pit bull in there. Um... I don't know who that defender was, but he makes him look like an absolute idiot. Uh, I mean, no surprise. I felt like if there was going to be a guy that scored the goal first, it was going to be Carlos Tevez. Uh, Cardozo, looking okay. Looking like he's about 75% energy right now. But um, 
expecting a little bit more from him. He hit the post. Outside of that, haven't had too many chances in general. Only two shots on target. One of them went in. <laughs> that's on me. Literally, that's on me. Matias Wegira Garay. Bro. Who is that? No way did Hector Valalba score that. Hector Valalba, regular, what is that? The, the, the 82 rate? Wait, no. 82? He's like an 80 rated guard. He comes in and he absolutely bangs that. Nah, this card is actually mad. Don't. What is don't that? Do Piss off! Alright, we're gonna have to watch the one. I pressed circle! Are you seriously telling me that Jerome Roussillon has just done this to me? That's the Takwara that we know and love! Let's see what a robot looks like actually doing the robot. Dude, Oscar Taquara Cardozo. Okay, want to know what it is? You don't do the body thing. You just use left hand long stick. Come on, Dalbert. Remember, no body thing. Just literally left hand long stick. Like, are you freaking kidding me, dude? Of all places to head... Tequara Cardozo. What is that? Is that two goals? Does he have two goals in this match? I mean, it, it only took his Pep Guardiola to get a red for us to get him the goal, but Jesus. Shots on target. Five out of seven shots on target gets two goals, so you need to... <sighs> Dribbles completed 24 out of 33. That's actually pretty impressive for a big man, but the, um, the five shots on target and the two goals, I feel like you need to take a lot of... You need to take a lot of shots for them to go in with Cardozo. And I'm not sure I really love that. Rojas! Come on, boys! We win the crossbar challenge and we get the first goal in the, uh, in the, in the, first, uh, in the first 10 minutes. Matias Rojas. What an absolute legend, dude. 90 rated. And he's actually pretty damn cheap. How much did I buy him for? Rojas, his 90 rated card. is It's under 100k, isn't it? Two, okay, 200k. Never mind. Alexis. Bar bar Chat, I think I could probably go elite if I took this card through Weekend League. With the close touch dribbling, and I think... That's a five in the back formation with the... Is, is that a moments? I think that's a... Is that the moments, Davinson Sanchez? See, there's... That might... That's the agility right there. The fake shot doesn't really work with him. Fake shot's not too big of a... Fake shot's not really a skill move you can implement. It's literally just le left and long stick um, dribbling.
Toto Salvio. Ojo con este pase y ahora. He might be out. That's a trash goal. That's a trash goal to concede. He made one mistake. He made one singular mistake, and Menno might be out of here, dude. The absolute audacity. Carlitos! 3-1! That seals the deal! I feel like this guy had the momentum. Um, was possibly going to make that comeback. Yep, here we go. What a pass. Rojas, the agility, and then the goal. That's going to be game, boys. 4-1. All right, boys, and there you have it. Match number, I believe this is match number three, if I'm not mistaken. We had a rage quit in there somewhere. Uh, Cardozo had a good game. Let's see, what, what are the, uh, the the player ratings? 9.3 for Cardozo. Gets himself an assist as well. Uh, two goals for Carlitos Tevez. Um, two assists from Rojas, and then an assist from Salvio as well. So let's take a look at the dribbles. Hey, again, 22 out of 27 for a big man is kind of wild. And if I were to explain this card in some way, shape, or form, he's got the elements of Peter Crouch, but a very, very agile Peter Crouch. It's a very fun card to use. Uh, whether or not the SPC is worth it for you guys, most of you probably are gonna, uh, most of you probably gonna have it find a really, really tough time trying to get this guy into your squad, but he was really, really fun to use, and this really just, this really just highlights the type of goal that you want to score with him. Um, get him inside the box, just do a bunch of stuff where he's running around, he's got the strength, he's got the 99 strength and 99 aggression to hold off a Davinson Sanchez. I mean, you can't really tell that he has 60 agility. Does this look like a guy that has 60 agility? It's relatively expensive, but for me, it's fun. But if, if I'm giving you guys a serious evaluation whether or not you need this card in your life, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give it a three out of five in terms of value. You don't need this card in your life. It's a luxury buy. It's a fun one for, for those of us that uh, appreciate the passion and um, just the, the funness of a card, uh, the fun factor of a card. In terms of value, not great. In terms of on the pitch performance, I would go so far as to say three and a half out of five. I don't like the stamina. He could come on as a super sub and absolutely terrify your opponents. Uh, so it is not a glorious glowing review in terms of getting a card done. I don't think you need to get this card done. Not great links, um, but uh, now that we have these Libertadores cards in the game, could be kind of fun. We also have another week of this, so we might get a flashback card that maybe um, links into him. Maybe a Valalba. If we got ourselves a Valalba card, he's transferred from Atlanta United down um, to uh, to South America, so he doesn't have his, uh, his his League SPC card does not link green into this card, but that would be a pretty sweet one to get. So, uh, at the end of the day, though, I am going to give it a thumbs up because it was a fun card to use. Uh, that's just, again, my opinion, boys, on this particular card. And uh, you, you know, I knew the moment I looked at these stats, you guys, it's one of those cards that, of course, we look at on the channel. Taquara Cordozo, just a very, very fun card to use. And, uh, yeah. That's going to do it for the Epi Boys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Like I always say, if you do, drop a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Uh, hopefully tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm not sure what Team of the Week is going to look like, but I hope we get some more. Um, hope we get another sick player SPC. I'd love to do one. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for the Epi Boys. Catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.